I don't know how many people are uh, familiar, but the next new wave after targeted therapies for cancer treatment and a hope for cure is immunotherapy. And when you talk about immune-based therapies, you know, um, and I don't want to bore the audience, but just so you get the idea, when you have immunotherapy for any cancer, you have what we call the T cells or the killer cells that can attack the cancer. And, um, and then you have these walls that the cancer puts up that prevents these T cells, or what I call the tanks, from attacking the cancer. So we're working on ways to try to enhance the immune system using both these aspects. Now, the wall, breaking down the wall, we have some new agents called checkpoint inhibitors that were recently FDA approved and are being tested in multiple cancers. They were FDA approved for melanoma, lung cancer, bladder cancer, etc. And we believe that it is going to be useful for multiple sarcoma subtypes as well. And the, uh, the beauty is that it offers the possibility of not only a great response, but also a durable response. It means the response can last long if we activate the immune system against the cancer. So we don't want to be left behind with sarcomas. And we're very fortunate in, um, in MD Anderson to be able to attack or investigate these various immune-based therapies against sarcoma. I'm currently, develop I have developed and I'm leading one of the largest sarcoma immunotherapy trials at MD Anderson. And you know, I know that in sarcoma, not every sarcoma is going to respond to these immune agents that we have. So in, as part of this trial, we're collecting tissue and blood samples. And the key is to do the correlative testing so we understand really why our patients not responding or why are patients responding to these particular therapies or these immune-based therapies so we can actually develop the future immune-based therapies for these sarcoma patients. And so we better understand this. Is this a type of cancer that now will be spreading and becoming on our radar, sadly, or, or how does it? How do you get the attention to it and, and what's the future of this cancer? Can we stop it quickly or do you think it spreads more quickly than we can handle? So sarcomas are, you know, not different than other cancers, but sarcomas are basically cancers of connective tissue and they can happen anywhere in your anywhere body. Anywhere in the body. Correct. There is no screening for sarcoma and unfortunately sarcomas tend to affect younger patients as opposed to... Male over female? Uh, male or female and there are over 75 different types of sarcoma. Wow. Um, and, you know, we're nine medical oncologists in MD Anderson and we see sarcoma day in and day out. And as I said, though it's rare.